Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've done another client tutorial on my twin sister. So since we're in isolation, I obviously can't do tutorials on um, like friends or models or anything. I got my sister and she's stunning anyway. So as you can see, we created this really smoky, sultry look with like a little pop of shimmer. Um, this video filming on my sister, we literally laughed so much. So enjoy all the little funny bits in it. Um, so to start off with, I'm just going to be highlighting her chest. This is the ColourPop Soul Body. It's actually really nice. It's like a dry oil. And I haven't actually used it before properly because I thought it wouldn't be um, that intense. But as you can see, it looked really, really pretty and gave that like nice wet look. So for primer, I first went in with the Touch Yourself Canvas just because me and my sister, we do have like more... Um, pores on our, our cheeks and nose and everything so I really like that to smooth everything out and then for the rest of the face I'm taking the MAC um, strobe cream I'm pretty sure this is like the pink light and this is just like a really nice glowy primer so I'm just putting that everywhere else and then I'm also using the Scandinavia primer spray and just spraying that everywhere for some extra hydration um, and then we're going to move on to brows so for brows I'm going to be taking my Benefit um, brow palette and my sister she already has like really really nice full brows as you can see so I just fill in the underneath more and then just brush through the rest of the product just so it's not too harsh on the tops of the eyebrows trying to put them in the and then to carve them out I'm taking shade 2 and shade 3 of the P. Louise base and just using that um, just to define the underneath of the brow and then also use that to prep her lids So I don't know if I said at the start, but yeah me and my sister were twins if you guys didn't know already I'm sure you already do um, Comment down below if you think we look like twins or if you think you'd be able to tell us apart I feel like obviously we have differences But a lot of the time like in school and stuff everyone always got us mixed up Especially like teachers and all of that which I thought was really really funny So yeah, let me know down below if you think we look alike or like what you think is different about us But yeah film I mean, this video literally took so long because we kept laughing at like literally everything like that's how we are we laugh like all the time so yeah it was really funny but yeah it was fun to film on her it's surprisingly this is like the second time I've actually done her makeup before so I definitely will be filming more videos on her now since um she doesn't have lash extensions and since we're in isolation so yeah stay tuned for those so now moving on to the eyeshadow palette, I'm taking the P. Louise Secret Sinner. I've really been liking this um, palette lately. It's actually a really, really good palette, even though it's like weirdly gigantic. Like I hate the packaging, but the shades are really nice. I just wish it was like a flatter palette. But anyway, that's irrelevant. So I'm taking that dark brown. I think it's called Love Shy. I'm, actually, is it? No, it's not. It's called something else. I'll leave it down below. But yeah, it's like a nice dark chocolatey brown. And I'm just mapping it out in the crease first and I wanted like majority of the look to be really like dark and smoky so then I'm going in with the shade next to it and I thought this shade was going to be more of like a brown but it actually had more of like a reddy orangey undertone so it sort of made the eye look like a burgundy color but I actually liked it anyway so I'm just using that to blend out um that darker brown and soften the edge Cut that ivory into skinny pieces And she clean it with her face But you love your baby You talking money, you need a hearing aid You talking about she don't see the shine and then I take one more shade, so another light brownie shade, just to further soften the edges. I feel like doing this technique, like it's good if you want um, your eyeshadows to be really dark because you do start with the darker shade first. So that's the shade that shows more. But then if I was doing it where I wanted like just like a smoky outer corner, I'd probably go from like the lighter to darker shade. So now that I've got all those eyeshadows mapped out, I'm taking my base again on a little like fluffy brush. I'm just like patting it on the lid in just like a little like oval, I don't know. If like oval shape just so um when we put the shimmer i'm not putting it on top of like that really dark eyeshadow and here my sister laughed and she um, got it on her eyelid but yeah anyway so then i'm just softening that with a clean brush just to make sure the edges aren't too harsh and then i'm going to go in with some glitter glue and pat that all over as well and then the shimmer i take is the inglot sparkling dust in the shade 01 i'm pretty sure and then i also take the be perfect um, and jar glitter and what is the shade it's like the white one I can't remember the shade name and I also packed that on top just to add a little bit of extra dimension
once I have the glitter on, I go in with a little clean brush and I'm blending all the edges. I wanted this look to be like dramatic, but I wanted the shimmer to be like really soft on the lid. I didn't want it to look like a cut crease or anything. Like I want it to be a more like blown out version. And now I'm taking the Stila Spice Smudge Stick and I'm running that across her lash line. This is like a really nice warm brown shade. And I'm running that across and then I also smudge it out just with like a little brush and a little bit of the dark shade that we used Um through the crease and now i'm taking the nyx epic ink liner i think it's called and it's just like a felt tip black liner it's really nice it's really easy to use and it's like really 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 black as you can see and it dries like nice and matte and then i also take a little brush and smudge that out as well so it's got more of like a smoky effect So next I take a gel liner. This is the Maybelline Eyeshadow Gel Liner and it's just a black shade and I'm putting this in her waterline just so when we do the eyeshadow later it's nice and smoky under there. And these are the lashes I'm using. These are super dramatic and fluffy. They're the Model Rock Silk Effect Lashes in the number 16 I'm pretty sure and they're just like so full and oh, I just love them especially for like a look like this where you want just like nice big lashes. As you can see, they're on there. Yeah. And now we're going in with foundation. So I'm taking Nashi Glow mixed with... What did I mix it with? Oh, my Laura Mercier Radiance. I think it's Radiance Foundation. I just wanted them more like medium coverage foundations because she does have really nice skin. So I'm just applying that all over just with my Peaches Makeup PC25, my favorite brush. And then I take a small little concealer brush and go around her brows just to make sure... Um, I don't go over them with like my big foundation brush. Okay, so next for concealer, I take, um, what one is it? Oh, the Born This Way Too Faced. No, it's not Born This Way. It's the Multi Sculpt. Is it called Born This Way as well? I think it is concealer. And I accidentally, like, I don't know why, I put on way too much. So as you can see, when I'm trying to blend it, it's just, like, not blending that great. And especially because I'm using a brush, it's not absorbing any of the product. But, yeah, on the nose and the forehead and chin and stuff, it was fine. But when I get to the under eyes, it's just, like, way too much product. And I was just laughing so much. And so was my sister. So I ended up having to go um, get a sponge to soak up some of the excess product. But, yeah, you'll see as, like, now I'm trying to, like, blend it. And it's just... Yeah, way too much product. So my bad, but I feel like I always do that with concealer. Like when I'm putting on other people, I don't know why. I just like feel like I put on so much when I don't need to. But yeah, as you can see, like it's way too much. So yeah, I go and fix that with a sponge. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So now I've wet my Model Rock Face Maker sponge and I'm going over all of that concealer just to like soak majority of it up because I have way too much on which was hilarious. So yeah, I'm going in soaking all of that excess up and then I also go with the foundation brush to help like blend the edges so there's no like harsh lines between the concealer and foundation. And then I'm going to be setting her under eyes with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Nothing new here and I'm just yeah really pressing that in. I really like this concealer like it made her under eyes really 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 flawless. You just don't need to put on as much as I did. So yeah I'm just using a little setting brush and setting her under eyes um, and also like her smile lines and pretty much everywhere I put the concealer. So for the rest of the face, I'm taking my MAC 
mineralized skin finish in medium golden and I'm just really lightly setting the rest of her face um, I didn't need to add like any more coverage or anything which is why I used the mineralized skin finish powder instead of the foundation powder because it does have a lighter finish and then I'm going to be bronzing with my MAC give me sun and putting that pretty much everywhere I love bronzer I feel like it just ties the whole look in together so yeah I'm just literally putting that all over her face So as you saw I got a little bit excited about bronzer and it knocked over my whole ring light and camera so that was hilarious but um there now I'm just putting blush on with my mac peaches blush and then I'm taking my Fenty Island Ting bronzer and using that just to like further sculpt her face and then I'm gonna be oh my god I can't do it with my sister's facial expressions so I love so much anyway and now I'm gonna be um carving out the cheeks so I'm taking my Laura Mercier pad again and my sponge and snatching those cheeks I actually can't do with like there was so much stuff in this video I had to cut out because she's just doing all these like weird funny faces and it was like hilarious but she's like no don't put that in there so I did put in like some funny things but yeah it was fun to film on her so yeah now I'm going in with highlight this is um my mac hyper real glow palette i'm taking like the goldy shades and putting that on her cheekbones um above her brows tip of the nose cupid's bow and a little bit between the brows as well I'm gonna brush away that fake and then it just like helps everything look nice and defined without like having to do a really harsh contour or anything and then i'm gonna be setting her brows with the benefit clear brow setter this is what i use on everyone it really makes the eyebrows just like look so nice and fluffy and like really separate all the hairs So now that majority of the base is done, I'm going to go back to finishing off the eye. So I'm just taking that same highlighter. Oh no, I'm taking the Doll Beauty highlighter in, it's like the duo. And I'm just taking the lighter shade and highlighting her inner corner. And then I'm going to be spraying her face with some Morphe setting mist. Just so all those powders can settle in while I go in with the rest of the under eyes. So I'm pretty much taking the exact same shades that I used on the crease. Just those three colours and running them underneath her eye and I'm making it look nice and smoky when I want the under eye to look really smoky I like to blend it with a fluffy brush quite actually like far down I feel like it just helps um the eyeshadow blend really nice and makes it yeah really nice and smoky and I'm taking a little bit of black as well just to blend in with that eyeliner that we put in her waterline earlier and then here I'm taking a fluffy brush and just like blending it down so it's nice and smoky don't wanna hold you oh just oh just split you in half in my heart I just want to love on you, trust in you, honor you, please do the same on your part. God, I feel like I said smoky about a hundred times just then but anyway I'm taking my Maybelline mascara and I'm just coating her top and bottom lashes making sure they're all nice and black and then after this we're moving on to lips so for lip liner I'm pretty sure I took my MAC stripped down lip liner this is my favorite one I'm lining her lips she has such like big lips so I loved filling them in like it's so good so yeah I'm lining her lips and then for the lipstick I go in with MAC honey love and I actually leave her lips matte she always does matte lips and I actually I think it suits her really well so I just left them matte normally I put gloss on everyone and yeah that is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial comment down below what videos you want me to film on my sister next and yeah I hope to see you on my next video don't forget to like and subscribe bye Beyond.